someone ask me, well, doesn't, didn't East Palo Alto have enough trees? I mean, <laughs> you know, so how does one decide, okay, we'll go to East Palo Alto and plant trees? First of all, I don't think any community has um, enough trees. Uh, trees, like, like human settlements, um, come and go over time. Uh, the city had been experiencing, as a matter of fact, in the last several years, I think a generation of trees probably planted many, many years before that were um, dying for various reasons, either because of um, disease, a disease condition, they had reached their natural age. Um, uh, there might have been in some places where we have high water table, uh, trees that uh, had reached the end of their ability to survive. And so uh, even before Canopy came with this particular proposal, we had a number of citizens who had been lamenting the fact that they remembered many more trees uh, years ago and the loss of those trees and, and that there wasn't a um, concerted effort to replace many of those trees. So, um, no, I think quite the, op the, the opposite. People were saying there's not enough trees and it needs to be uh, another initiative to really get more trees in. Yeah. I, might, I might add, too, that the area that... Uh, was set up as a, as a priority planting area, was, was established by the city of East Palo Alto. And the areas that were chosen were along the Highway 101 sound walls, along East and West Bayshore roads. And those areas have absolutely no vegetation other than some vines on the sound walls. So it was truly um, uh, an, uh, an element of putting in trees where there was nothing there previously. So we're putting trees into bare dirt. That's interesting. Yeah. Now, Dave, how do you decide? Uh, you're the one who makes the plans for the planting. So what, what is involved in deciding on places to put the trees or the, in, in designing plans? Well, first we were given by East Palo Alto, okay, these are the places that we want you to put the trees. And then you think about then city of East Palo Alto asked us, we'd like evergreen trees because we don't want deciduous trees that dump their leaves all at one time, which then causes a big maintenance hassle. So, and we th at Canopy thought, great, evergreen, that's very appropriate for the kind of screening and pollution absorption functions that we want these trees to fulfill. So, that was the, the beginning. We, we were given strips of soil between six and nine feet wide, essentially, next to the sound wall. And then overhead, we had five different power line configurations at differing heights. So th that was kind of the, the constraints that were given to the situation. And then I, you know, I've, I've, we're, I've done tree plantings now for nearly 20 years in the area. And I use my experience to choose trees that would give a nice sized canopy under each size of power line without interfering with the power line. So you're saying they would never grow tall enough to get in the way of the power lines. That's the, yes. That and, is and how large are they when they're originally planted? Or how tall are they when they're originally planted? Well, they vary. I don't know how well your viewers can see them, but we have mm -hmm. three good examples of the trees that, that are being planted at this time on the sound walls. And these, these are the actual sizes of the trees being planted? These are trees that will be planted on the sound wall. So um, not all of the trees are this size. We have quite a range of sizes. We have a, a great diversity of trees that are being planted. So these are pretty typical for the larger trees. And then we also have trees that are only two or three feet tall.